What's up, guys? All right. Two more big uh, concerns that my uh, viewers have had. I've been reading the comments that y'all leave. Uh, two things about Pipeline that people are concerned about is uh, family and age. Uh, we're going to make this video about family. Um, you know, if you're a family man, such as myself, what are your options if you're wanting to start working on pipeline, regardless of age? We'll, we'll leave the age out of this one, even though I'm 38 years old. I didn't start pipeline until I was in my late 30s. Um, I'll get onto that on, an, on another video, but this one's going to be just about your family. Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys uh, for watching my videos. Um, <clears throat> Of course, I make a couple dollars off of them. I make I don't make enough to make a living, but I make it's a uh, it's very humbling to know that I do make money off of these videos, and it's just not I'm not feeding y'all some bullshit, and I'm not you know creating fake content for YouTube. I'm not just um. You know, I watch a lot of other channels. Some of them are legit. Some of them are fake in my eyes as far as they go out and do stuff just for the content. Um, I get a lot of messages uh, on Instagram and stuff like that from people that are like, man, I never would have taken this risk. I never would have done this without watching your videos, but now I'm on Pipeline. Now I'm making good money. Now I'm living my life. Um, so it makes me feel good to know that some people, you know, take what I have to say and use it for their own lives to get where they want to be. Um, so that's the reason I do this. Um, I try to make it easy for you guys because uh, I know when I first wanted to get on Pipeline, there was no, there's no real information out there from like you can google it you can look it up and stuff like that but from here and from a person that's that's been through it and uh you know i think it's a different different level of information um but let me get on to the subject at hand which is uh the uh family thing you know me myself i'm uh i have a wife stay-at-home wife um two two young boys um five and uh four years old my oldest is about to turn six this month uh i spent a solid year on the road working pipeline uh, i'd come home on the weekends uh you know like once a month or the longest stretch i was away from my family was uh three months spent three months in west texas without seeing my family that was tough. That was probably the toughest time of my adult life, being away from them that long. Um, and during that time, uh, I was having, you know, marital problems as well. Uh, me and my wife just weren't getting along, and we were actually uh, going through a divorce. Um, so... When I say pipeline is tough for a family man, it's it's very tough, um, very tough. But you have options. You have options. You can do just like I did. You know, leave your family at home, go to work. Uh, I mean, you figure we'll help people do it all the time. There's a uh, a bunch of the guys you work with out there. You know about. 80% of them are in the same situation as you. Your family's at home, they're at work. Um, got bills to pay, right? Um, but there's 20%. I could be, don't judge, don't, don't, don't put my percentages, don't mark them in stone or anything. Don't take them for granted. I'm just saying, I'm just making up numbers here. But about 20% from what I've seen have their families with them. Uh, what do you what do you mean has their families with them? Well, what I mean is uh, they take them with them on the road. Um, they live in their RV. And you're like, oh, that sounds so horrible, man. That's just uh, living in a camper full time. 
you know the guys i know that do it they have very very nice campers um uh, one of my best friends the guy that gave me my first job on pipeline uh, my buddy justin he him and his wife and their son have been on the road for i think 10 years maybe a little more maybe a little less i'm not 100 percent sure but about 10 years uh they have a they have a home back here in mississippi where i'm from they have a nice piece of property nice house um, you know, they got tractors and race cars and four wheelers and, um, they got a bunch of nice stuff at home, but they only come home, you know, I'd say out of the, out of a, a solid year, they're at home for 15, 20 days total is what I'd say. Um, and you're like, man, that sounds horrible, man. They are living the life i'll tell you right now man their son which she homeschools of course because you have to i mean you're on the road you're gonna homeschool your kid her son is one of the smartest kids i've met um perfectly well mannered um she homeschools him herself he's probably two or three grades ahead of every other kid his age i've known um very very smart um and, you know, this kid's got to see the whole country at, um, you know, six, seven years old. I can't remember how old Brody is, but he's been around the country, man. Every time they go and stay at a new place, they go to professional football and baseball games. They go to all the parks. They go to the Six Flags. They go to stuff like that. They go to every beach that they go to. They've been everywhere from Florida to Ohio to North Carolina to Texas. Um they've been all over the country while daddy's making money uh mama and son get to go out and play every day every day they go and do something um and then justin is off every sunday and they always dedicate sunday to family day you know justin never does anything without his family because i had asked him one time like dude why don't we go out and have a guy's night one night like a saturday night or something uh go out and shoot some pool drink some beer or whatever he's like man I spend my time off with my family. I said, man, I fully respect that because I was there by myself. My wife and kids were at home, so I didn't have a, a family there with me. He did. Um, every day he gets off work, Megan, uh, his wife, has dinner ready. I mean, she cooks every day. They grill out. They eat outside on picnic tables and stuff, and it's like a year-round camping experience for them. Um and they spend every sunday together and he gets to go when i say living the life for justin it is the life that he wants um you know he's making great money pipeline money money he couldn't make back home couldn't he make half what he makes out there back home um and he knows that that's why he keeps pushing out there on the road um, but he lives the life of a pipeliner with the benefits of having your family there. He gets to sleep in the same bed with his wife every night. He gets to put his kid to bed. Um, he comes home to them. So if one of your options is to have your family out there with you, uh, you're going to have to have an RV. Um, there's no if, ands, or buts. Or there's no other way around that. You're going to have to have an RV. Um, mine, my family came and stayed with me for two months during the summer when I was in, uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Um, they came and stayed out there with me and I was in Kima for a couple weeks too, but man, that made, that made life so much easier when I go to work and have my wife and kids there with me, um, every day. You know, I get off work, I come home home as in my rv and um you know go out there play football with my son while my wife is grilling up some dinner we go down to the pool most of these rv parks have nice pools and stuff and it was just like a summer vacation while daddy worked i mean when daddy got off work we can do stuff together and on the weekend we can go and do stuff um and every night i got to sleep in the same bed as my wife so You're going to have to have an RV. Um, 
and you're going to have to have a fairly decent one because you don't want your wife living in a shithole while you're at work every day. Um, you're making good money, so you need to spend some of that money and get yourself a nice RV. Uh, and then you're going to need a second vehicle as well. You know, Megan has a new truck. Her husband has a new truck. He pulls the RV whenever they go somewhere, and then she has her truck to drive uh, while he's at work during the day. I mean, she can't just sit at the camper all day. She needs to be able to go do stuff. So you're going to have to have a, a secondary vehicle, a camper, and then your main truck. And that 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 caravan of shit's going to have to follow you everywhere you go. Um, <clears throat> So, basically, if you're wanting to do this and you have a family, you really need to sit down with your significant other and discuss what you want to do. Man, worst case scenario, let's say you go do it for a year with your family and your wife is like, ah, oh, this really ain't working out for me. I'm ready. I just want to go back home. It's not the end of the world, man. You just go back home. It's not like you signed a military contract that you can't get out of for six years. Um, just pack up. They call it dragging up. Pack your shit up. Pull the jacks up on your RV. Hook it up and go home. Nobody's going to be mad at you. You just go back home and say at least we tried. Um, and you're going to make great money while doing it. Um and the people that really make money out here is the husband and wife combo that, that are working together. Uh, like the husband will be the welder and the wife will be a welder's helper. Or the husband will be an operator and the wife will be a swamper. Or the husband and wife will be inspectors. I've seen all those combos out here. Um, that's when you're making the money. That's when both of y'all are making big money. Both of y'all are at work every day. But you can't have kids. I mean... That doesn't work out when you're working 12-hour days, both of you. I mean, what are you going to do with your kids? I mean, when you have young kids. I know some, like I, my last job, there was two inspectors, a husband and wife. Both of them had brand new F-350 Platinums, and um, they were inspecting on the same job. They were both not in the same truck, but they're both making about, you know, four grand a week. So when you combine that, I mean, they're making $32,000 a month put together. And, um, but their kids were grown like in college and stuff. And they, they were probably in their fifties, but they didn't get to that point easily in life. They didn't just sign up last year. I mean, it takes a while to get to inspection inspector level and all that. Um, so point being, man, it's great money. If you're gonna leave your family at home, be prepared. It's it's not gonna be easy. It's not. No matter what you say, no matter how strong your marriage is, no matter how much, I mean, my kids, they understood when daddy had to leave, he had to go to Texas. He had to make money, pay bills. They knew that. And, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be FaceTiming your kids at night and in the morning and when they have stuff at school, um, you know, holidays, birthdays, you're going to be FaceTiming during that shit. And it sucks more than anything. And the last thing you can do is be distracted at work. You can't be distracted, man. Uh, if your mind is not focused on the job out there, it's going to it's gonna mess up your job. I've had some jobs where I was so, so distracted with what me and my wife were going through and uh, missing my kids. Um, it got me to where I was drinking pretty heavy at night. I don't even, I really don't even drink, man. I haven't drank in like a month. Hell, I might have one tonight. I might not. It's no big deal either way. I don't mind getting a little, uh, little tipsy every now and then, but it's not something I just yearn to do. Like, oh, I got to drink. But when you're on the road, uh, a lot of grown ass men turn to that bottle to deal with depression. I mean, cause you don't ever want to admit, oh man, I'm depressed. That just sounds like a, a pussy thing to say. But the men go home and to their camper at night and their wife and kids are at home a thousand miles away and they turn to that bottle. Um, you think it's going to help and it doesn't. It's a temporary relief for a bad problem. Um, and they go to work the next morning and the same cycle. 
and you get to the point to where you don't give a fuck about the money anymore. I didn't care anymore. You know, I was making almost $3,000 a week after taxes and I didn't care. I would have went back home for 500 bucks a week. I mean, I was like, man, I just want to go home. Um, so when I lost that last job, uh, when they told me to go home, I was like, man, I was like, man, thank you. That's, that's where I want That's where I need to be. So, um, it's tough for a family, man. There's a reason why they pay you so much is because you're leaving your home to go work. Um, that's why it's paid. That's why it pays so well. So those are your options, man. If you have a family, talk about it with your wife. Just talk about it. And worst case scenario, you try it out and it doesn't work out. Um, and you come back home. But anyway, um, appreciate you guys watching. I'll make another video later today and upload it about the uh, about the um, the age the age thing. I have people everywhere from 16 to 60 messaging me and stuff asking if they can work on pipeline. So I'm gonna let y'all know my opinion and my experience with that in another video. So y'all be sure to like, subscribe, all that shit. Um, cause I get paid for this. So I ain't gonna lie. I enjoy having that extra check every month. Um, appreciate y'all. Tune in later.